Moving on in the winner's bracket, I believe we have Kite versus Andre. Ah, oh, man, I did not change these. Re uh, I'm going to find out who's player one in just a second. All right, so Andre player one. Keep that in mind, guys. Andre player one, Kite player two. You can tell because Kite plays Kid Boo while Andre does not. This is laggy as fuck. Andre getting a big opener there. Lots of damage. Dragon rush down. Level three just for the hard knock. He's not going to get the character kill just yet. Needs one more hit. Try to go for an overhead. Goes low, gets blocked. Big punish on the guard cancel, though. He's not even going to worry about it. He's just going to snap in that kid, boo. Down tech almost got eaten up by Kamehameha. Good reflect. That's going to hurt. No meter, though. So he gets to survive. Kite does go for the character swap. Gets the overhead into Dragon Rush. This is going to be a character kill here. Level one into the GT Goku. Needs to keep that Kid Buu in the back. Making sure that he doesn't lose it preemptively. Looked like he was ready for the 2H there. I don't know why he panic vanished. Rasengan, Degeneracy, 5LL, coast to coast. He's taking him to Hotel California. Kid Bizzle not going to connect. Goes low again. Oh, didn't believe in the stagger. Man, we got to stop vanishing into the corner, boys. Can't be doing this. Dragon Rush not going to come out from under, actually. Definitely seems like it was the thought process there. Just barely built the three bars. Are you kidding me? 400 plus frames. Same side low gets blocked. Got to hold this low again. Uh, keeps it going. Oh, gets it with the five or with the power pole. Excuse me. I was on the five H. Needs to do it again. Guard cancel one. Yeah, definitely one on the guard cancel there. Beam gets exposed. Degeneracy. What is happening? Good blocking from Andre, though. Means he gets the opportunity to push buttons. He should be able to care to kill here, too. Level one, level three. Actually, uh, oh, no. The input a Dragon Rush instead. Super, super called out on that Dragon or Z change. Brings GT back in. Forces him to hold block. Good backdash from Cut. Just trying to get some space. Run on buttons. Andre is ready, though. Forced to hold this again. No fuzzy opportunity. He's too small for that. Man, so much blocking. Didn't have an assist. <laughs> oh, man. Andre making a name for his furry form. His first Sona has appeared. Kite, though, not worse for wear. Well, he is worse for wear. But he's not perturbed. That was not good. That was that was some panic buttons from Kite, and he got obliterated for it. Lost the Kid Boo down to his last character. Fourth to block forever, too. Oh, by forever, I meant like 5LL. Does get the overhead. Does kill the character as long as he keeps it together. This should be as easy as a PB&J. Down. The two sweet and sour Gokus heading off head to head. Kite in a much better position health wise, but they do both have sparking. So I believe they could actually kill off any hit here. Kite does get the opener. He's going to be able to level three at the end of this, too. Force a decision. Oh, keeps the meter. Good spark from Andre. He does still die off one straight hit, I'm pretty sure. Empty vanish just to get some damage going. Counter spark from Kite. And so now, oh, well, that's scary. He's not going to dead. He's not dead. He's not dead. He's surviving. He's living. He's surviving, folks. Input of Dragon Rush means he's super surviving. Oh, they are just playing shenanigans with Vanish right now. Andre's spark is going to time out first. You can see the white light glowing there. It is now over. Any hit will do it. One more. Ah. Ah. He pushed buttons. Oh, no. 
He is going to get a hard knockdown after this. Kite is one shot left. Eyebrows, eyebrows, eyebrows. So I'm just going to run up, crouch jab. Run up, crouch jab. Oh, oh! Are you kidding me? The EX Tatsu input by mistake gets to kill. That was a thousand percent by mistake. There's no way you input EX Tatsu there. It just doesn't happen. Dragon Rush could tech there by Andre. His button seems to be working again. Runs into the foot of Bardock. Gets pummeled down into the earth. Drop down, force block, gets hit overhead. Okay. Kite is for sure going to take that. He just wakes up 5L. Dragon snap. Not just Dragon Rush. Drops him to the ground. Lots of opportunity here for Kite. He doesn't have another assist, but you got to reflect twice. I say it every week, folks. On GT Goku, you got to do it time and time again. All the top tiers have it, guys. Name a top tier you don't got to reflect twice, except for, like, Super Saiyan Goku. I think that's quite literally the only one. Everybody else does have a way to get back in. Kite, though, taking the one character lead. EX Mystic Ball, the bane of Solo Q. I actually really like how Kite uses Candy Ball. It's something that have seen in the past but he just uses it all the time he's gonna get happy birthday there gt goku does fall out eventually but snaps him back in gets as much blue health as oh no right into the level three run up jab i'm calling it I, yeah i i freaking knew it andre does it every freaking time he's gonna get dragon rush there popped up into the air Super Saiyan Goku on both sides. Oh, that was crazy good. He gets to jump in heavy. Andre tried to low profile it with the 2M, but it didn't quite work out. Drops him down. Level 1. Are we going to get the level 3 afterwards? Yeah. And that should be enough. It's not the powered up form, but it still does good damage. And yeah, Andre down to his last character. 50% HP and spark. It is solo GT, though, so there is not too much to worry about if you're kite other than just the uh, get in for free button of the EX or Sengon. But that's... Uh, uh, if, he had, if he had had G... Or if he had super... Had he had Goku assist, he would have killed there. Now he's definitely going to be able to kill there because he's going to get the hard knock into uh, double Kamehameha. Oh, no. It missed input again from kite. That's the second time we've seen him go for a super just to get nothing, really. Uh, Dragon Snap brings in Kid Boo, low HP. I half expect Andre to level 3 Dragon Punch there. Jumps over the Key Blast for the character kill. No meter spent either, keeping all seven bars. Sparking is ended, though. So Key Blast didn't vanish kills, which, I mean, kills anyway. But he has to play really safe there. Wow. That was, like, the last active frame of that Key Blast for him to get hit on. Falling heavy once again, exposed by the light auto combo of GT Goku. Oh, man. Literally anything will do it. There it is. Kite tying it up. Here we are, folks. Last match, first to two. Winner of this continues on in the win bracket. Loser of this goes on to fight his way through the lower bracket. Kai off to a good start here. Tried to get him with the 5L. Punched in the giblets, though. Bardock special is just going to 5L you. Lariat into 5L. I guess we'll do that here. Is going to get a sliding knock. Not quite enough. Try to air Dragon Rush. Not sure... If he was expecting up tech, but GT Goku gonna fall out of the combo too little. 
He's going to drag on Rush. Nope, didn't have his assist back just yet. Wow, that was an extension. That's some optimal extending. Hard knock, overhead. Yep. Vanish out of the corner from Kite. Gives him his turn to push buttons. He's got both assists primed and ready. Guard cancel goes flying through the atmosphere. Holy moly. Dragon snap brings in Bardock once again. That's a reversal. Vanish just to stay safe. Good 2M start there from Kite. Dragon snap or just slide? Just a slide. Puts him back on the corner. Wow. Wake up. Dragon Rush is going to do it for Andres Bardock. But he's still got the hell of a shell. GT Super Saiyan. That, that's a good set of characters you got right there, Andre. Hard knock. Sliding knock into the overhead. Hold my boo ball. 5H into Tatsu. I wonder if the Tatsu was intentional. I, I feel like it's not that much used as a move. It's going to kill Goku. 1-1. One, one. Drop him down into the level 1. So now Andre, last character, the protagonist against himself from the future. Does have a sparking available on both sides. Just going to block low. Ooh, that was scary. 2M starter. Doesn't believe, though. Five LL into spark. Does Kite have the optimal? Does he have all the buttons in the right places? This is going to hurt. Yeah, he can't. Oh, he's got to hit this. Rasengan. Yeah. Andre has the spark there. Oh, I mean, he's he's not in good shape anyway. Oh, man, that was crazy. He had no meter to vanish there, which is like Kite just kind of like bopped him, but whatever. Go reflect into overhead, one bar meter. That's going to do it. That is going to cut. Oh, no, oh, no. Kite. Uh. <laughs> Andre fell out of it and then forgot to hold back. But that is going to be Kite moving on to zero. Or 2-1, excuse me, in bracket. Going to find himself in winner's finals there. Andre going over to the bracket to see who he's going to face in the loser's side. So let's stay tuned for that, guys, because we have more Dragon Ball action for you here at Friday Night Fights, presented by the Traveling Controller.